Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve one numerical problem of the soil mechanics. So here the problem states that a sample of soil has a volume of one liter. So the volume of the soil is given to us, which is one liter, and the weight of soil soil is seventeen newton. The specific gravity of soil is two point seven. If the dry unit weight, dry unit weight here, weight here, of soil is fifteen kilonewton per cubic meter, then determine the water content, the wide ratio, the porosity, and the saturated unit weight. Now, how to find out these parameters? We have to look into the method that how we can find out these unknown quantities. So, the first one is water content. But let's start with the general description of the problem, and we have to write it here. The given data of the soil sample. So the given data for this problem is that a soil sample has a volume of one liter. So the volume of soil V, or the volume of soil, is one liter. So now, is the unit of this dry unit weight? Is kilonewton per cubic meter, so we have to change this liter into in cubic meter or in meter. So we have to follow one unit. So that's why we have to change this liter into meter. So for this reason, we have to divide it by thousand, because one cubic meter is thousand of liters. So that's why we divide it by thousand. So now we get here zero point zero. Zero one cubic meter volume of the soil sample. So this is our volume of the soil sample in cubic meter. Now the weight of soil is seventeen kilonewton. So weight of soil equal to seventeen newton. I will just divide this again by thousand because one kilonewton is thousand newton. So that's why we divide it by thousand. So we got zero point zero one seven. Kilonewton. So this is the weight of the soil in the kilonewton. So now we have the weight of the soil in kilonewton and the volume of the soil in cubic meter. We can go now to our unknown quantities. So how? First, to write out the specific gravity of the soil, which is two point seven. So specific gravity represented by G is it is equal to two point seven zero. The other is dry unit weight of the soil sample is fifteen. So dry unit weight of the soil sample is Fifteen kilonewton per cubic meter. So now to find out the water content, the first unknown is water content here. A water content and water content is mostly expressed in percentage. So now to find out this, we have to look for the formulas that can help us to find out the water content. Now there is one formula, and that states that water con that the dry density of the soil sample is equal to the Bulk density or the total density divided by one plus W. Now, in this case, if we want to find out this water content, so the dry density of the soil is known to us, which is here, which is here, fifteen kilonewton per cubic meter. But the total density or the bulk density here in this equation is unknown to us. So first, we have to find out this bulk density or the total density, and how to find this? Bulk density or the total density is equal to the total volume of the soil, total weight of the soil, divided by the total volume of the soil. So the total weight of the soil is zero point zero one seven kilonewton, dividing it by the volume of the soil, which is zero point zero one here cubic meter. So it is two zero. So here, so we will get here the bulk density of the soil comes out to be seventeen kilonewton. Per cubic meter, so this is the bulk density of the soil sample. So now we will put this value here in this equation. So we will get our water content. So how? So one plus W will be equal to the gamma W dividing by gamma D. I just simply change the position of the water content in order to find out the water content. So now from this equation, I will put the water content will be equal to the I will just put the values. So one plus W is equal to the gamma B divided by gamma D. So gamma B is bulk density is seventeen divided by gamma D, which is fifteen. 
here this one or this one so it is 15 so if i divide this so 1 plus w is equal to the here we will get the value of 1 plus w so it comes out to be from this value it comes out to be 1.133 so now i will shift this value one into another side so it will become water content will become 1.133 minus 1 so water content comes out to be 0 0.133 so this is our water content now if we change this into percentage so what we will do we will multiply this by 100 so how so here water content is equal to 0 0.133 multiplied with the 100 so we will get water content in percentage comes out to be 13.3 percent so this is the way how to find out the water content simply just using the formula this formula and then finding out the water content now we have some other unknowns and these are here the wide ratio the porosity and the saturated unit weight now these are easy to calculate so how so we will use this b wide ratio is represented by e it is unknown to us so gamma d we will use this equation is equal to the specific gravity into water unit weight divided by 1 plus e now in this case we will find out this wide ratio so how to do we will just simply rearrange this equation so it will become specific gravity into water unit weight and dividing by gamma d we just rearrange this equation so now we know that specific gravity of the water is given to us which is here 2.7 unit weight of the water it should be kept in mind that it is always 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter in the dry density of the solid soil is known to us it is 15 kilonewton per cubic meter so we will just simply put these values in here so it is e equal to gs is known to us which is here g is specifically 2.7 multiply with the 9.81 dividing by gamma d which is 15 but here we will put minus 1 because we shift this one into the another side so it will be subtracted so e comes out to be 0 0.7658 so this is the wide ratio from this equation now to find out the porosity so porosity is very easy so c is porosity porosity is presented by mu is unknown to us so we can use a simple equation e is equal to the mu is equal to the e divided by 1 plus e so it is so we will just put the value of y ratio which is 0 0.7658 divided by 1 plus 0 0.7658 so it comes out to be 0 0.431 if you multiply this with the 100 percentage so we will get our porosity in percentage which comes out to be 43 43.1 percent so this is our porosity of the soil sample so this is our porosity of the soil sample this was the wide ratio of the soil sample now we will go to the last one which is saturated unit weight so how to go saturated unit weight is represented by gamma saturated of this salt simple so gamma saturated of the salt simple can be found out by this equation gamma w into g specific gravity plus e into 1 plus e so now we will put simply the values of all these parameters so gamma w is known to us which is 9.81 kilonewton per cubic meter you should keep this in mind that the unit weight of the water is always kept constant is 9.81 specific gravity is known to us which is 2.7 e is known to us which is here we found out to 0 0.7658 so we'll put these values here simply the gamma saturated comes out to be 9.81 into 2.7 plus 0 0.76 is the wide ratio divided by 1 plus 0 0.76 so by putting this value we will get the saturated unit weight of the soil sample is 19.2 kilonewton 
per cubic meter. So this is the saturated unit weight of this soil sample having the specific gravity of 2.7, the wide ratio of 0.76. This is the way how to find out this unknown parameter. So if you have any further question, you can just put your uh, question in the comment section and I will make a separate video for you guys. So I hope you understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.